So I may have done a thing that includes spending a lot of money on something that I haven't done in a long time. I purchased every single Wave 1 Ra Rave Bohile? What? Rainbow High dolls. Um, I'm kind of crazy and I've always had a passion for dolls. I've always loved fashion dolls. Bratz was my favorite thing of all time. For the past 10 years, haven't really seen any dolls that I was interested in. And um, I was like, let me just go take a look in the doll section. And I saw a big display of these dolls and I was like, okay, these are actually kind of cute. So, <clears throat> it took me a few weeks to consider it because I was like, you know, I'm an adult now. Maybe I'm over the doll collecting, which I'm definitely not. Um, but, yeah, I ended up buying all of them because they're by MGA. I love them. They always make beautiful dolls. For the most part, because I'm not sure how I feel about LOL OMG yet, but... They have cute fashions and hair, so I may try and get one of those and see what I think. But, we got these. So, I bought all of them, so I'm just going to like show you every single one, and we'll take it from there. <laughs> so, I just kind of have them stacked up here. We have Violet, very beautiful. She's probably one of my favorites. We have... Ruby here. Red. Yes, ma'am. We've got our girl Squiler. And I dropped her box the first day I brought her home. I was going to keep these dolls in the box, okay? Because, you know, I'm in that collector mindset now. I don't play with dolls like I used to when I was younger. But um, I dropped her box and I was like, I may have to take her out because, okay. I've been hearing a lot of things about how these dolls have gel in their hair and that made me a little nervous to keep them in the box. I was like, well, maybe I should take them out and, um, you know, wash them and give them a little something, you know, because as much as I love the presentation in the box, I'm the type of person who collects dolls and I don't have the intention of selling them again. Yes, I love the packaging and it's cute, but she's broken, so why would I keep her in here? It don't make sense, but anyway. Let me set her aside. We also have everyone's favorite, Jade. Now, when I hear Jade, you know, I think of brats. <laughs> so I'm a little like, are you really Jade or are you just saying that? But she's really cute and I, I do love the color. This was one of my favorite colors when I was growing up, lime green. Um, and she's, you know, her shoes came a little disheveled in the box because I had to order her online because she was sold out everywhere in my area. So she's, ex she's the one I'm excited for. I will say that. Okie dokie. Then we have Sunny, Miss Yellow, and everyone's been saying how she's Sailor Moon inspired. I get it with the hairstyle, but I don't know. She's just yellow to me. <laughs> Um, and her hair is like crazy in this box. I really, I really don't know what happened to some of these. Her buns are a little interesting, but, and, oh, oh, and her bangs. Look at her bangs. They're like, they're like weird. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Next we have Miss Beautiful Poppy. Orange. Stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. I love her hair color. Not sure how I feel about her second outfit yet, but I do love her shoes and I love her look. And then we went ahead and got the playset exclusive dolls as well. Now, I usually love playsets and stuff like that, but the salon playset where it had the little seat and the hair play stuff not interested because it didn't come with a doll and it was just a it was just a seat and I did go to cosmetology school so I would not like to relive those memories of washing hair <laughs> thanks um so we did purchase 
yeah her name is Amaya she's gorgeous I love her hair she's a hair play doll so her hair is super duper long love that um she has tinsel in her hair which can be an issue but she's also hella gelled so she definitely will have to get some TLC then we got this one which I think is very nice like when I saw what came with this I was like dude oh my god like this is stunning um, so we have Avery Avery Styles and girl she comes with two wigs three other pairs of shoes and like nine different outfits whoa that's cool and let me tell you something when I was growing up, fashion was my main thing in my life. I've, I still am pretty um, relevant to clothes, um, but that's one of the main things why I love dolls when I was growing up is because I grew up not really being able to be stylish like I would want to um, with my influences when I was growing up, you know, funds, money. Having a doll where they come with like a bunch of clothing like this and you can like mix and match and like I mean she comes with shoe cases and even a clothing rack like that's super cool I thought I had some <laughs> I thought I had some eyeliner under my eye I'm really excited for this one and she has a wig that's interchangeable with the pink wig which reminds me and this is gonna be out of pocket I promise um it reminds me of what's what's the pro proper name for that doll it was fashion queen Barbie I have her <laughs> and that doll I actually got over 10 years ago um, and it's the original doll from 1962 I think and seeing wigs where you like put them on a doll with no hair that's like molded on it just brings back memories and I was like wow that's really cool so it's gonna take a lot of work I'm gonna go ahead and unbox all of these ladies and we're gonna come back and I'm gonna give you my opinion on them I'm really excited though because they're so cute like their faces I haven't seen a doll that had me looking at them like this before in my life other than brats of course Barbies right now are very, um, plastic. I'd love to see them with some new clothes. How about that? Um, but anyway, enough with that. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and unbox these, and we'll come back, and we'll take a look. Okay. It literally took me all day yesterday to unbox all those dolls. I'm in a whole different look. No makeup on. But I finally am satisfied with how they are. And now we're going to take a look. I opened every single doll. Um, washed their hair out to get the, you know, gel and everything out. I styled their hair. Um, the ones that had a hairstyle, I kept it. But the other ones, I kind of spruced them up a little bit. And I... <clears throat> excuse me. I mixed and matched all of their clothes just so I can see what kind of like looks I could get from the fashion studio. Everyone's wearing mix and match fashions right now. They're not wearing their second outfits or anything like that. I wanted to see how far I could take these looks. So let's look at the girls. This is the first one we're going to talk about. This is Jade. I love her hair. As you can see, I washed it out and I gave her some braids to kind of give her that edgy look. I feel like that would be something that she would do. She's wearing her hat. I gave her her second pair of pants and her second jacket. I gave her um, Avery's top. <clears throat> and I gave her some fashion studio shoes to mix it up. I know she's a sneaker girl, but I wanted to see what she would look like with some heels on. Um, I mean, she's still very streetwear. It just kind of mixes, mixes it up with the shoes. Now here's my discrepancy with her. As you can see, this hand, okay, hold on. It can bend, right? You see it? She's bending. 
whenever I pulled her out the box, I tried to bend this hand and it did not bend. I literally almost broke it. It doesn't bend, it's broken. Like, it, it's not cut to where it can bend. It's literally one solid piece. So I'm a little disappointed with that. <clears throat> Other than that, she has no defects on her face and I really love the way she looks. Um, her hair is very soft. Um, it's nothing like um, that some of the Tony Twin Bratz's hair because honey, those girls were somewhat of a mess. We'll talk about those in another video. Um, so this is the look I gave her. She's pretty true to her look. <clears throat> I keep clearing my throat because I just ate some food. <laughs> okay, so we're going to talk about Sunny next. I, I don't know why, like, I had a thought, like, that's not her name. Um, yeah, her name is Sunny. This is the look I gave her. Her bangs are still a little jank, but I managed to flatten them out pretty even for the most part, other than this little spot that's, like, popping up. Um, I left a little bit of the gel here, and as you can see, it's already breaking away, so I'm just gonna, like, rinse it out and, like, pull it together. Um, but I did loosen up her ringlets on the bottom because I did not like how tight they were. She has um, Poppy's second jacket on, and I think this is from the fashion studio. Um, and then she's wearing the rainbow fashion studio boots. Um, I kept her hair very out of the box look, other than me relaxing these curls a little bit. She's very true to the box. Um, I love her skin tone. She has a very pinkish candy iridescence to her. It's really weird. Um, but I really like it. Can, can we focus on her, please? No. Okay. <laughs> Um, I brushed her hair out so it's nice and soft. I do not know why her hair's like this. I think it's because one of the buns are higher than the other. Um, but yeah, that's the look I gave her. It's not yellow. But I was like, you know, I want to see how far I can push these looks. So she's wearing a hoodie with a dress. Because, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to see how it would look. So now, we're going to talk about one of my faves. Miss Poppy. I want to say Poppy is one of my favorites. Now, the look I gave her is not something I would normally wear. I, I maybe, maybe I'd wear something like this, but this is the look I gave her. So what I did with her was, I took this shirt, which was Skylar's second outfit, I think. I took the pink dress from the fashion studio, and I gave her Sunny's rainbow socks with her butterfly heels. Her hair is really pretty after I got it together. It still has a very nice curl at the bottom. Still very soft. And I like the color tones in her hair. Um, did not try to take the butterflies out, so she's going to keep this hairstyle. Um, but I really wanted to see what she would look like in this pretty pink dress, because it just looks like something that she would wear. Here's my thing about the dress, though. It starts very low on the chest, <laughs> for some reason. Um, so, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with it at first, but I said, you know what, I'm just going to put this white shirt underneath. Um, but, you know, her, her, little, her little chest was kind of popping out of that, and I was like, girl, we don't want to eat. But yeah, I really love her look. She's one of my favorites, and I love her freckles. She's just, she's very sweet. She's very Lisa Frank to me for some reason. Okay. I keep getting really close to the camera and I don't have makeup on so I'm sure that's scary. So next we're going to talk about Skylar. I gave her a blue and orange look. She's wearing her shirt and her denim jacket. If my eye is twitching, don't notice that because I don't know why it's been doing that. I have her wearing her second pair of shoes, I think, right? And her socks with the clouds on them. She's wearing Poppy's dress. And I gave her a really cute hairstyle. I pinned back a front piece here and I twisted some blue pieces together, uh, the navy and the light blue. 
and I twisted it to the back. She still has a pretty cute wave at the bottom. Her ringlets are gone, um, but that's what happens when you do all that. She's fine as far as articulation goes. And she also has a really beautiful face. That's one thing I can say about these. I really, really love the way their faces look. Oh shit, sorry. <laughs> sorry girl, I kind of missed you here. Okay, now we're gonna talk about Violet. I really love her. She's also one of my favorites. I had to redo her ponytail though because it got a little jank in the box. As you can see, I redid it. Her her bangs were glued to her forehead to the point where her eyelash her eyelashes look at me trying to be country. Her eyelashes basically were glued to her forehead. So I had to figure a way to not have them stuck to her forehead with a weird crimp in them. I, they're still like a weird line, but they're not stuck to her forehead. You can hear the crisp. Um, I love her multicolored hair, and that's something I wanted to say about Skylar. I love the tritone hair. I think that is so pretty, and it just reminds me of like... I don't know. It reminds me of love. <laughs> But this is the look I gave her. She's very violet. Now, I have a thing to say about this jacket. Um, the stud came off because whenever it was put in the package, the little buckle was like stuck and it literally ripped it off. So, I was like, Ugh, really? But anyway, it's not that big of a deal. And I gave her Skylar's denim top which is very cute, and I gave her the purple skirt from the fashion studio. Also with Avery's boots, I think. Mm-hmm. And she's wearing her earrings, which are the same as Amaya's, sorry. <laughs> and yeah, I really like her look too. Her eyeshadow is very pretty and glittery. Love that. Now we're gonna talk about Miss Ruby. Now, she's not my favorite. Oh, some of her hair just came out of my hand, love. Okay, we're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Um, okay, so now we're gonna talk about Ruby. She's not my favorite. She probably is my least favorite as far as the fashions go. Um, because she's just very, you know, fashion nova. I'm more into like weird artistic clothing um as you can probably tell by the way I dress them um but I did her hair and now I like I love her it's so weird <laughs> my hair is so greasy I love her now um I gave her this really cool ponytail because she, at first I was gonna keep her with her hat on okay we're gonna drop the stand for some reason, the stand is really loose on her. But I guess, you know what? We're going to keep it off so I can show you. This is the ponytail I gave her. I gave her some little tussles in the front. And this is how I dressed her. I gave her the red top from the Fashion Studio Playlist playset. And the jeans from the Fashion Studio playset. She's wearing her, her shoes. And she's wearing her um, plaid shirt wrap around thing but whenever I gave her this hairstyle let me move her hand out of the way so you can really get the essence of the look I like love this <laughs> she's stunning and then I wrapped like the hair around the ponytail in a crisscross fashion oh and then look at how like, voluminous it is in the back this the ponytail really brought it together for me this is a very basic look. I feel like she's a very basic kind of girl. I hate to say that about her, but um, she's red. And I love primary colors, but she's just very like your average girl. Um, but I did give her a little bit of an edgy look, as you can see. Edgy. <laughs> but I really love the ponytail, and uh, once I did that to her, I said, girl. You're stunning. Um, but she does not like to sit on the stand properly. It's like her waist. 
doesn't have enough fabric or something around it to like keep her on it and she kind of wobbles around but that's okay alrighty I literally forgot one of the dolls over there so I'm gonna have to go grab her and come back and we're gonna talk about the last two which are um, Amaya and Avery so give me one second all right I promise this is the wrap-up time <laughs> We're gonna talk about the last two dolls, then I'll give you my final thoughts about what I think about them and if I think they're worth the money. So we're gonna talk about Avery next. This is the outfit I gave her. We gave her this really cute top that says, don't call me doll. We've got this really cute denim skirt that is Skylar's. And I gave her um, Violet's boots. Now, here's my thing about these shoes. These shoes are so loose, like, I get it, like, they're probably supposed to have some room so they don't break, but girl, her feet barely fit. Um, so here she is. I, I know tinsel is, like, not a good thing, but I love it. <laughs> I love this on this wig. It is just so cute. And, um, I also have the other wig, which I will... Oh, Lord. I'm irresponsible. I let the bangs get kind of funky. Oh, well. It's only been a day. I can fix that. So we're going to go ahead and put this pink wig on her. And I'm just going to tell you this right now. I hate when they sew the plastic on the wig. It brought me back 20 years <laughs> to when I was a child. And it made me realize how easy it is if they just have you know, a different way. And I will make another note about their heads. I do not like when they tether the doll to the box with those plastic things to where you have to pull them out of their head because literally you can't pull it out of their head because it's stuck in there. I had to take some toenail clippers and clip them off really close to their head because I mean, how else am I supposed to get it out of there? Ooh, girl, what, what, what's happening? All right, I'm trying to put her wig on. She is just, oh yeah, I guess I'll show you what she looks like without the wig. Um, it's okay. Her head is very flat on the top and I don't know how I feel about that. So we're gonna keep her with some hair on. No shade to the ladies with the pixie cuts. But, um, she is, it's all right. It's not my look though. I was, I had short hair like that at one point in my time. So I'm all for the long now. Why are you not going on right? Ooh. Okay, but wait. Before I put it on all the way, it's, it's kind of giving me Lady Gaga vibes with them bangs right here. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to try to get this on properly. Because, as you can tell, um, I'm having a little trouble. There we go. I got it. Alright. Here she is with the pink. I love it. I love the color. I love the tinsel. And now it does look a little crazy because of the tinsel. As far as, like, flyaways go. They got, you know. I love the length. It's not super choppy it's got a weird you know average doll hair layer to it um it's soft once you get the stupid plastic out um and she has a very pretty face too she is just as articulated as the rest of them and she has a gold stand now we're going to talk about the one that i think is my favorite and you'll see why I did not change her outfit. I kept her exactly how she was, but I gave her a really cute hairstyle and I think that's what made me change my opinion. <laughs> so this is Amaya. And the camera just doesn't do her justice. The way I did her hair, she has very long hair. And I did it to where it would lay for a display because I'm going to sit them somewhere. I gave her some really cute like astro ponytails. Super cute. One side is a little bit thicker than the other because I'm kind of crazy. And I had a headache yesterday when I was doing this. So I put all of the clips in her hair. The ones from her set and the ones from the fashion set. Um, her hands are perfectly long enough to keep her hair in front of her face. Um, because they're stiff from the jacket. Which is very cute. And she's wearing her outfit with the boots and the matching top and skirt set. And I just 
the hair colors this blue and green mesh together I love it and then this and then you look at her face and you're like she's literally my favorite and I'm gonna be honest with you I did not see myself playing with these dolls as much as I did yesterday when I was taking them out the box and getting them ready so we'll wrap it up with my thoughts I would show you all the other accessories and all that, but everyone has probably already seen those. I mean, they come with outfits, they come with brushes and combs. I probably showed you earlier in the video. I don't even remember at this point because it's been a day. But here's my final thoughts. I love the dolls. I think they're very gorgeous. It's very innovative for a time right now when all of the dolls are very boring and flat. Um, other than one of them having a defect with the hand, the articulation is awesome, and I love to give them little poses whenever they're standing on the shelf. I love their hair, and I realize how much I love playing with doll hair now that I have fresh dolls with fresh hair. Um, I love the clothes. The mix and matchability of these clothes are amazing, and I can't wait to mess around with them more and try everyone else's outfits on. I love that they come with a stand very very nice for people like me who want to collect and want to take the dolls out of the box but you don't really have a, very much like space to just sit dolls everywhere um but a stand makes it easier to clear a space and have them standing you can put them on like a vanity put them on a dresser um i love the playset that comes with the fashion stuff you know it comes with the rack and the the little shoe boxes and the hangers that's really you know it's like a neat and tidy kind of thing like I love that um, all of the clothes are very high quality and you know I love the shoes the shoes are a little difficult to get on and off but I found a technique that I feel works best you kind of put their feet in like at an angle and you kind of wiggle them in there um, so yeah oh Here's what I don't like. Their boxes literally are so, so, so difficult to open. My fingers, my fingers were literally feeling like they were about to peel off like tape. Um, and that anchored me a little bit. I destroyed quite a few of their boxes trying to take them out because... I mean, the little boxes where they had the fashion packs. They literally ripped off. Like, the cardboard ripped off. And I was just like... You know, I was going to put them back in the box. But I guess now I can't. Because I totally obliterated the boxes. Um, so, yeah. Um, I love the display in the box. I just don't understand why the box was so easy to rip like it just literally exploded whenever I opened it and it took forever it took me literally eight hours to unbox everybody and by the time I unboxed everybody I was like oh, I can't I just I, but you know it is my fault I did buy every single one of them and I don't regret it I love them and I can't wait to buy the rest of them um I love the accessories I almost want here's what I want I want a line of these dolls with accessories and I mean like take it back to the old school days when they would come with a little toothbrush and a little toothpaste like can we do like a Bratz campfire with with these dolls or like yesterday when I was washing their hair I was really thinking oh my god like a really pretty beach line or like some mermaids or something that would be really cool especially with the dolls that have the tritone hair that'd be gorgeous for like a mermaid doll and that would be very fun for like children if it has like a water play element um but yeah I I think that's it I literally bought all of them and I can't wait to buy the rest of them and I don't know if I just started a whole completely different obsession in my life but I'm definitely super excited to have them with my other dolls and um you know I bought uh all of the cave club <laughs> the cave club dolls too because I saw those and I was like <sighs> They're so colorful and Lisa Frank, so you're probably going to see a video for those too soon. 
Um, but anyway, these dolls really got me back into collecting dolls again, and it's very nice because I thought MGA was just going to fall off the flat, the flat of the earth, the face of the earth. Um, but, you know, ladies, if I'm being honest with you, we gotta bring the brats back, okay? Ask me how I know. It's about to be the 20th anniversary, yeah. And it'd just be amazing, you know? Don't you think? I mean, I'm buying all these dolls. Let's buy all the brats, too. <laughs> what a hoarder mindset. Um, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go. I fulfilled my fantasies. I fulfilled my dreams. I'm back on my collecting. Yeah. So we gonna go ahead and peace out now because I'm sure this video is heck along. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed watching me unbox all these dolls and give you my opinion. Um, I probably will contact MGA about getting a replacement hand for Jade because that was really sad. Um, that's it. That's it. All right.